my skin with this CoverGirl smoothing primer. I want my skin to be super smooth and super hydrated. For foundation, I'll be mixing these two just because this one's a little bit lighter, but it's very, very long wearing. So I'm adding some Derma Blend drops to this foundation. I want to give it a good shake. I'm just taking my Beauty Blender and just blending out that foundation. I'm not going to apply powder yet, I'm just going to apply some of that Tarte Shape Tape to my lids so I could really get that color to pop and I'm not going to set it just yet. So for this look, I'll be using two palettes. This one is by Morphe and it has some of the shades similar to what she used, not exactly the same but I'm going to make it work. Then I'm taking this good old Lorac palette and I want to use that blue shade in this palette because I tried to find a blue that was a little darker but I couldn't find it. So it's going to look slightly different but it's still going to be very similar because we have similar shades in this palette. So I'm going to take this purple shade, the lighter shade, and I'm going to start off with this color on my crease. I don't think I've ever directly put a purple in my crease. Not like this. So this should be very interesting. Okay, now that I look like a raccoon, we're gonna take this super bright pink color and just put it over that purple and just blend it together. These colors do blend very well together so that's great and I'm using the same brush. This is just a blending brush. I think this one is the Kylie Jenner blending brush. So I'm just blending that pink onto that purple. Oh my gosh, I look insane. We're just blending guys, blending, blending, blending. So I'm going to take this blue and just apply it all over my lids and blend it. You guys, this blue looks so bomb with that color on the crease. I'm just going to do this eye because the other eye had like so much fallout. So I'm using this. After the blue, we're going to add some yellow. And I'm going to take this really bright yellow eyeshadow and this very small blending brush. I'm just going to apply that yellow like right above the pink and blend it. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's so pretty because the yellow blended into the pink and now it looks like an orange. I don't know. I don't really see that yellow. It looks so bright on the palette. But it isn't a matte color, guys. It's, it has shimmer in it. I'll go back in with more of the pink and just kind of reapply it on my crease so it shows a little bit more. Whenever you're blending your eyeshadow, some colors tend to fade with all the blending so it's good to just blend them back in there so she actually took a lighter like baby blue but I don't really have a baby blue so we're going to take some of this one right here and just place it in the center and see what that does I'm going to put my head back because I feel like blue shadows have a lot of fallout yes this definitely works oh my gosh this is actually really pretty with this blue on top. So last but not least, we're going to add this to the center of this blue and see how that looks. So I just popped on some of that lighter blue and I'm just focusing it on the center. I'm still blending it out a little bit. 
really brighten up the bottom of my eyes. Go back in and I'm gonna have my powder ready. I'm gonna use the Maybelline Fit Me loose powder in shade 10. So I'm just gonna blend this out. And we are going to apply shadow to the bottom part of our eyes after we blend all of this out. The Anastasia Ebony Brow Powder to fill in the front part of my eyebrows. And I'm using this brush by Mikasa Beauty in E100. And this angled brush for brows is so good. It just really like makes your eyebrows look really amazing. I'm going to quickly contour my face with this Becca Cosmetics Capri Coast Bronzer, which I'm almost finished. I am almost finished with this bronzer. I love it. And it's been my go-to like the whole year. I haven't been able to put it down. I just love it so much. I feel like it looks really pretty on my skin tone. They do have other shades in this bronzer, but I just feel like it looks so good. I love it on my forehead and to contour my face, of course. And I like how it's buildable and it doesn't look chalky. It blends good with the skin. You can wear it on its own. Like You don't need to put a whole bunch of blush and stuff because it just looks pretty by itself. Like my eyebrows are a little harsh, but maybe because I don't have eyelashes on. So I'm going to add a little bit of blush, and this is by Burst Bees, which is the Bare Peach Blush. It just adds like a nice color without it looking like clowny. <laughs> Especially now that we have a lot of colors going on. We don't want to have like super hot pink blush, you know. I'm just going to apply these on my eyes. So I'm just making sure that the lashes are very close to my lash line because I'm not wearing liner or anything. I do have a coupon code for these eyelashes. They're super inexpensive and they're just really good lashes. I always forget about these. Boom! Can you see that? This is why I, li I love eyelashes because completes the look so I'm going to highlight with my favorite highlighter and that is those of colors fuego it just looks so good so I'm going to apply some mascara I'll be taking this one by Kiko Milano just so I can put my, my real lashes with the fake ones. And then I'm going to add a whole bunch of mascara to my lower lashes. Like a whole bunch. And I'm slightly overlining my lips. Not really overlining. I have weird lips. Like my lip line sticks out a lot and it doesn't have color on it. So if I put color on it, it still looks like my lips. I just never really put color on it because, I don't know. And I'm just going to fill in my lips with this lip liner. I really like this color. I never liked this color in the beginning when I first got it, but now I like it. It's such a pretty nude, like a brown nude. You guys, my son is in middle school. I have a middle school child. Like what in the world? He is in sixth grade. And I look like his girlfriend. I feel like as he gets older, I just look the same. And there's gonna be a point where people are gonna think that's my boyfriend. And I'm gonna tell that's my son. <laughs> I'm gonna go in a little lighter with the lips. This is a very similar color. It's a lip pencil by Makeup Academy in no color natural huh. and bam we're finished <clears throat> I like how this look actually came out it looks really cute so that is it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed it and enjoyed it as much as I did because it's so cute but if you're not subscribed to my channel make sure to hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up you guys thank you so much for watching I'll see you guys in my next video bye